Nashville General Hospital has renovated its emergency room. Larry McCormick slash The Tennessean Mayor Megan Barry's finance officials want more specific information from Nashville General Hospital before they can make any determination about future funding for the cash-strapped hospital, photo, George Walker 4 slash The Tennessean, by photo. Mayor Megan Barry's administration needs more specific information about Nashville General Hospital's finances before it can make any recommendation about future funding for the cash-strapped facility. I cannot stress enough that time is of the essence, and specificity, especially where we are requesting financial information is imperative, Metro Director of Finance Talia Lomax Odneal wrote in a December 28 letter to the Nashville General Hospital Authority. Without this detailed financial data, I will not be able to make a recommendation on funding to the administration. More, Nashville General Hospital Board extends CEO's contract. More, Nashville General Hospital owes more than $6 million in unpaid bills to Mahari Medical College. In a statement Tuesday, a hospital spokeswoman said Nashville General anticipates providing answers to Metro's additional questions by Friday. This is the latest request from Lomax Odneal and comes weeks after Barry announced a plan to possibly phase out inpatient services at Nashville General Hospital. The hospital, which serves many of the area's uninsured, underinsured, and low-income residents has lost money for years. But the latest proposal from Barry prompted hospital officials to request an additional $19.7 million in emergency metro funding adding to the annual $35 million subsidy provided to the hospital. Community leaders are pushing back on Barry's proposal, saying the hospital serves a valuable role and should continue to offer inpatient and outpatient services. Mahari Medical College, which works with Nashville General to staff the hospital, recently created a board to discuss the hospital's future. The board, led by college staff and not the hospital, has met behind closed doors at least once since its creation in late 2017. More, future uncertain for Nashville General CEO Amid Mayer's plans to end inpatient care. More, hospital landscape in limbo as questions swirl over Nashville General's fate. Lomax Odneal already requested additional information from Nashville General after its request. Although Nashville General provided some information, the Metro Finance Chief said the hospital must turn over more specific budgetary information. The additional information requested includes More precise information from Metro on future funding of the hospital is expected this spring. Reach Dave Boucher at 615-259-8892, dboucher at tennessean.com and on Twitter at Dave underscore Boucher1.